knocked out of my Hey computer. guys. We're coming back with some more Transformers. The movie, the game, the experience. Um, I'm going first. Right now. In a second. I think we're Jazz still. Uh, probably. Or probably not, because Jazz is a cool character. Jazz is only in like two levels in the game. Through the rings. Like 90% of the game you play as Bumblebee. And then like 50, no, it's like 60% Bumblebee, 30% Optimus, 5%, or 2% um, Jazz, and like, actually more like 1% Jazz, and like 9% Iron Head. Low game, it was Profile 2, right? Yeah. I like how we're already 8% done. So, why do you need these glasses, Optimus? We believe they have been etched with a cause. Spike went with the creation of the Allspark. Our Sam went with the Allspark is our life the force, show. the source from which all Transformers originate. Why would that be on my grandfather's glasses? Because many years ago... That's actually she in the booth, and I looked it up. Trapped in the Arctic. Megatron burned the information... Well, that's because before this, it was just Holes and even Stevens. So I guess he's just like... Frozen Before he was actually magic famous. Robot life force. I, I get all that. Ooh, but that one's what I'm definitely still struggling with is why Super Scout over no, here himself is such a Wait a minute, we already seen this guy. Now that's a car. Helicopters in that fucking transform. Oh. And then roll out. Dude. Forget to say. Nope. Oh, no, we're Iron Man. Get to Jazz. He's been cornered by Sector 7. Jazz Vader? Oh, yeah. Friend in need, fight off the Decepticons. Jazz is in trouble. We need to find him and help him out. We must link up with Jazz before it's too late. How the hell did fucking Bumblebee get all the way over, or Jazz get all the way over to the 
the other side of town. Yeah, but... Okay. But he didn't leave me with us. And now Jazz is still getting a good thing to him. What the hell? I thought the whole point was... Oh, Jazz's mission was to get out. Now all of a sudden it's like, go back to save Jazz. I thought Jazz was like, hey, we're gonna sacrifice Jazz's life. Okay, you hear what I'm saying? Uh, so that uh, we can do that. It's gonna be great for us. But he was sufficient. Uh, he was good enough. Um, uh, I like how they shrunk the ads down to five Transformers. Good idea. Oh, well, five Transformers from the Dinobots came in later, and they were just kind of like, for the, for the toy sales pretty much. They were like, oh yeah, they got the Dinobots. Uh, so that was part fan service, part toy sales. Oh yeah. Yeah. But they were pretty cool anyway, I thought. The Dinobots were just the Shit out of the center of balls and that's what they did. Yeah, they I don't know. They did a pretty good job. I also liked how Bumblebee didn't steal the show completely. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Bumblebee almost barely appeared even. Bumblebee was just there on the show completely. Bumblebee almost barely appeared even. Bumblebee was there about as much as Crosshairs and Drift. I would say Hound and Optimus were the two most important Autobots. And I like. I was surprised they didn't kill anyone off. Honestly, I figured Hound would die. Well, like, I figured they were just gonna copy what they did with the Jet Fire thing. Or it was gonna be Drift, because Drift was kind of the new Jazz side swipe and what the character was like. Like, it's not really the character they like, but it's one of the coolest car, you know? I like Jazz. Side swipe was just Jazz. Who was the red Ferrari in uh, Dark and the Moon? He was pretty much Jazz 3. And then I figured, okay, Jazz is Drift and Jazz 4. The only character that really disappointed me was Crosshair. He complained about how he doesn't want to be a hero. Like, you think he would have been one of the ones to die because he was like, what the hell? Okay. He's throwing cars with his locker and everything. Like, I would have preferred. Crosshairs died, or like showed up for like five minutes and died. And they let Ratchet. I was sad that Ratchet died because they used him in the first movie in school. Then you see him in the background for like a second in the second movie, just them saying, He's not dead. Then in the third movie, he's still alive. So I guess I died. And I don't even know if he showed up in the first movie. At least we got some speaking roles in the back for a little bit. gotta get away from all the characters that we know and love. And give us new characters that know and love. Are you kidding me? 
ripped and pound are like big characters. Yeah, I know. Crosshairs, I don't. Oh, yeah. The movie can be yeah. I like it. Kinda like how they used Lockdown and how uh, Megatron was the main villain. And hey, it's the uh, first one Megatron didn't die or come close to that. I'm confused whether or not he died. Pretty much did. Yeah. But that was a nice change of pace. Lockdown got back. And the clones were really cool. Yeah. You can see his dad's clone. We're not really clones. Yeah, uh, no, like the human-made rip-off Transformers. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm shocked that a lot of them were just completely stolen. Like, Jazz is exactly copied pretty much. Uh, but like, Stinger wasn't like copied exactly from both. I was pretty cool. I would have preferred them to just use Wasp like the Transformers animated because clearly a lot of animated was put in the game. Felt like they kind of did a kind of did a, a Transformers movie thing where they killed off the previous roster to bring in a new roster, which I thought was cool. Actually, I wouldn't have minded if they killed off Optimus. What about pretty cool? It wasn't. Especially since he left. They didn't even have to kill him. Maybe at the end he would just say, Alright, Rodimus is the new leader. Or even if he makes Bumblebee the new leader, and then just add Rodimus to the background. Because that's what Transformers Prime came up to at the end. And I think the new Transformers is going to come down like a year and starring uh, Bumblebee. Yeah, except Bumblebee. Which he kind of, it kind of ended the like, That's your fault. But Bumblebee's the most leader in. I am really proud of this construction site because like a third of the fight Well, I figure they wanted... I really don't know because pretty much everything can be destroyed. Like really, what's so special about this? Okay, maybe it's a really deep reference. No, but I actually have a little hype for TF5. Like, I remember I was just cringing at the fact that Transformers not only was still going, but that Michael Bay was still, uh, directing. And I think, at a crisp seven years, Transformers the movie is the longest running series for Transformers. Because I think the original series made it, I don't think it made it six years, but its toy line was six years total, and the toys started all the Of course, we got some, I think there's some comics that last longer than Marvel might have been, I don't know. Yeah, I get this, man. Yeah, so this motherfucker. I don't know, I'm excited for Transformers 5, which means I feel like it's going to be the revenge of the Fallen. The new trilogy. What do you think? Should they make a, another sequel? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Wait, what? Explain that in detail. Like, I kind of get what you mean, but. All I said was, do you think they should make another Oh, you sequel? mean, should they make a Transformers 5? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they should, but I think they'll be able well, to make it not nah, shit. <clears throat> oh shoot. This part will just get stuck on with this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> 